everyone subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you haven't subscribed subscribe to 10 a memphis man says he was stabbed by a parent while trying to handle a threat against his nephew at school good evening and thanks for joining us i'm greg hurst hi i'm stephanie scurlock wreg's bria jones joins us live now after speaking with the victim about the arrest in this case bria that man told me that the suspect's son had threatened his nephew's life. He says he was trying to squash the beef when he was stabbed. A smackdown outside Smackers on South Highland Street. He kept saying, I'm a kid. And I kept saying, let me go, I'm a kid. Reginald Milligan is talking with us from inside Regional 1. You can hear the machines in his hospital room as he recalls being stabbed Thursday afternoon. I tear from my left side just behind Memphis police say 38-year-old John Griffin is now charged with attempted second-degree murder. Milligan told officers Griffin's son has been threatening his nephew at high school over issues related to a female student. His son. How many of y'all remember how I say when it comes to black men in the home, It's a double-edged sword. Yes, perfect world, we would love to have black men in the home. But the problem with black men in the home is you have more black men in the community. And the way black men relate to each other, the way they problem solve with each other, the way they squash, they, they um, conflict resolute with each other is so toxic and so dangerous and violent that it actually is better for the community, the crime rate, the police department, that you do have less black males in the community by the fathers not being in the home. Because this is a simple, you know, this is a simple thing that happens. Two boys are having an issue over a girl at school and look how it ends up stabbed a smackdown outside smackers on south highland street he kept saying i'm a kid and i kept saying let me go i'm a kid reginald milligan is talking with us from inside regional one you can hear the machines in his hospital room as he recalls being stabbed thursday afternoon i tear from my left side just behind Memphis police say 38-year-old John Griffin is now charged with attempted second-degree murder. Milligan told officers Griffin's son has been threatening his nephew at high school over issues related to a female student. His son kept telling my nephew that he was going to kill him. He was going to shoot him. Milligan says he saw the student with his stepmother at Family Dollar and wanted to squash the beef. He says Griffin... He saw the student with... He saw the kid who was threatening to shoot his nephew at Family Dollar with his stepmother. He wanted to squash the beef. <laughs> Listen, man. That's just not a good idea, man. That's not a good idea. In a normal community, that would be 100%. If this was an episode of Malcolm in the Middle or Full House or an episode of goddamn <laughs> Growing Pains or the Wonder Years, yeah, man, you walk up to the other parent and you say, hey, uh, my kids are having a, a beef and it's gone too far. And, uh, as adults, I think uh, it's incumbent upon us to step in and stem the tide and throw water on the flames, douse the fire before it gets too large and something that we can't control. Not black thing, man. Watch the beef. He says Griffin's wife told him to trail her to Griffin's job, and that's when things took a turn. So she told the dude to trail her to the husband's job. Wow. 
which I can't listen. I can't knock her. She's have if a man is has approached you about a black Estonian man has approached you about an issue. She didn't do nothing wrong. Press one. She went and got her husband. She ain't do nothing wrong. That's what I would want my wife to do, man. I'll be like, man, come get me, man. She ain't do nothing wrong. I ain't going to beat up on this sister. She ain't do nothing wrong. Saw the student with his stepmother at Family Dollar and wanted to squash the bee. He says Griffin's wife told him to trail her to Griffin's job, and that's when things took a turn. When his daddy came out, he just was aggressive. His son had to take my nephew, then he will take me. So now he... Dad, dad came out, was aggressive. Yeah, I mean... That's how it is. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't. He don't know if you coming. You done followed his wife in his mind to his job. Now you know where he work at. <laughs> now you know where he work at. Which is bad on the wife's part. Now you know where he work at. He don't know you. So he like, yo, what the fuck? I, I can understand this guy being aggressive too, man. Don't get me wrong. I can I, that is, if I was at work, like back when I was working at Home Depot, and my wife came up and was like, "It's this man outside. I want to talk to you about, you know, what I'm saying your nephew and his son getting into it. He followed me over here from what such and such the Family Dollar." Yeah, man, I'm thinking when I come out there, I'm getting in a fight. My whole thing is when, if once I once I come outside, I'm thinking I'm 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 you get in a fight or it's gonna be some another form of violence. So yeah, I'm gonna be on edge, and I'm gonna have my guard up, and I'm gonna be ready to fight. It's just a fucked up situation, man. Griffin's wife told him to trail her to Griffin's job. And that's when things took a turn. When his daddy came out, he just was aggressive. His son had to take my nephew, then he will take me. So when I hit him and got him off me, he just started stabbing me. Milligan says Griffin pulled out a pocket knife and stabbed him once in the chest. He was swinging it. Uh, his wife, she kind of jumped between us and was like, stop, you know what I'm saying? So I was able to get loose from him. Police say Griffin left the scene and Milligan went home to call 911. Griffin told investigators, quote, they came to my job and assaulted me. He's still in custody, but we dropped by the address on the police report to see if anyone wanted to share his side of the story. I just don't understand. Then you did that in front of my kids. Like, bro, you could have killed me in front of my kids. Right now, Griffin is charged with attempted second-degree murder. So far, no bond information has been released. We're now reporting live outside till one popular. Bria Jones, WR. Yo, that's why I say, man. Fathers in the home on paper, on paper, it's a good thing. On paper, it sounds like a great idea. In practice, though, and black stand man, it just creates more problems, man. More black men in close proximity, man. Um, salute to 